Here we want to solve a certain type of exponential equation. Um, these three equations are very unique in that we can use this property right here. And here it goes. Okay, so if b to the x equals b to the y, so note that we have the same base here. That's, that's the key. Same base. If that happens, then x equals y. Okay, so if we can get the base the same, then the exponents are the same. So let's look at this first example. A, we have 6 to the x equals 36. Well, we can rewrite this as 6 to the x equals 6 squared. And now our bases are the same. So by this little theorem here, that tells us that our exponents must be equal. So x equals 2. There we go. Let's take a look at part b here. Part b, hmm, 64 to the x. We want to make these bases the same. Huh. There's actually a couple ways to do this. 64, we can think of that as a power of 4. Let's see, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 squared, times 4 again is 64. So six, uh, 64 is actually 4 cubed. All right, so let's write it that way. 4 cubed to the x, and then 16 on the right-hand side is 4 squared. Okay, we're getting closer. Let's go ahead and distribute this x through to the 3 there. So this gives us 4 to the 3x equals 4 squared. And there we have achieved what we wanted to. We have the same base. So we can set these exponents equal. All right, so that gives us 3x equals 2, which then tells us that x equals 2 thirds. There's that one. At the end of the video, I'll show an alternate way of doing that same problem. But let's move on to part C. Part C says, 9 to the 2x plus 1 power equals 81. Okay, well, we know we can write 81 as a power of 9. It's simply 9 squared. So this one's not so bad. All right, so I'm going to leave the left-hand side alone, 9 to the 2x plus 1. On the right-hand side, write 81 as 9 squared. And there we have it, the same bases. Once we have that, we can just focus on the exponents and set those equal. So that gives us 2x plus 1 equals 2, and we solve from there. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us 2x equals 1. Dividing by 2, x equals 1 half. Okay. So let's go back and take a look at b again, just in case you wanted to do that. Maybe you were looking at it and saying, oh, wait, 16 is 2 to the 4th and 64 is 2 to the 6th. Okay, no big deal. Let's just go down here with it. So instead of 64, we'll write 2 to the 6th x equals 2 to the 4th. All right, distribute the x through. We get 2 to the 6x equals 2 to the 4th, and we have achieved what we wanted because we now have the same base and we can focus solely on the exponents. So that tells us that 6x equals 4, x equals 4 sixth, which indeed simplifies to 2 thirds, same answer as above. So really, there's a few different ways to do these. As long as you get the base the same, you're good to go.